Hello, my name is Shadria, and welcome back for another episode of Hedgehogs in Victoria 3. Uh, in previous episode, we almost had a <laughs> bankruptcy. We managed to just barely avoid it. And now we've got the food industry, which should be kicking into full gear in the not too distant future and start giving us a pretty decent amount of income from there, I reckon. Although right now it is costing quite a bit, but the sugar price is going to start going up a little bit, which means that it's going to be making a lot more money both for me and for Egypt. Well, at least the pops uh, working those fields will have a bit better. Well, I suppose I don't have sugar f uh, filled, but we got the wheat farm over here with the fruits, which is going to be at least making some more money. So actually, the total income hasn't increased that much yet. They're still, well, they're not hiring anymore. So let's have a look at the post sales. So yeah, no, that wouldn't really be making a lot of money. The liquor price is pretty bad as is. Baking powder would be something that, well, we haven't unlocked that, of course, yet. That's uh, quite a while before we get to that. But at least we are getting a bit of extra income. Then once we get a second tooling workshop, that's going to be a lot more income as well. All right, so we've got the Empirism. Uh, let's have a look at the military. It would be line infantry. Let's complete that one real quick. And then we have, we have a look at the Sucrotaries. There is a pretty good demand for it. And I'm pretty much sure... I'm the, yeah, I'm the only one producing it in this market. Of course, again, it's a very tiny market in comparison. But now that we're getting a bit of income, at least uh, we are paying off some of the credit credit off. And then that way we are paying a little bit less interest rates. Actually, what is the production research going on? Oh, intensive agriculture. Now, that's not a bad one either. Well, it would be consuming a little bit more stuff at the livestock. But with, then we produce some... Um, Fertilizer. Oh, there we go. Line infantry completed. And then in production, I suppose I could speed up that one. Or in society, what's uh, happening right now? Banking. Ooh, now that's not a bad one either. I'm going to go for that one. It's going to be relatively quick. And that's going to start increasing the speed that we are bouncing back from this uh, debt right now. Now, to be fair, is uh, Leger, you have uh, no military whatsoever, I dare say. They are genial attitude, at least towards me, but if I was to conquer this, I hope there wouldn't be anyone joining. We'll see. Not going to activate the troops quite yet. We're going to activate that a little bit closer to the end, and then we'll just order them to advance if need be. They might, of course, always just give up, but that's not a guarantee, yeah, admittedly. So they would be willing or wanting war reparations. That's something that is not necessarily too bad, even if we were to lose, although, you know, it would be taking a decent bit of money away. Which I'm not entirely sure that I... Yeah, it's 10% of our treasury. Or the rather income, I suppose. Right, there's a diplomatic play between Egypt and Ottomans. So Egypt is a bit worried. So they want Syria and Adana. So these two. As long as they don't touch me, I'm fine, I suppose. Eventually we do need to get our independence in here, but that is going to be tricky. And everyone's declaring neutrality, so let's just go ahead and activate this army. Put it on the advance over there. To make sure that we don't have the same problem as with Bahrain in the previous war that we did. Of course, that is going to increase... Oh, actually. Uh, we might want to increase the... Army or military wages a little bit. Not really too much, but at least a little bit. Two arms, so we should be... Oh, yeah, we've conquered pretty much all of it. There's one little corner resisting us. Monument to the Sharif. Statue of uh, Sharif Muhammad al Hashimi. It's commissioned and it has been suggested that it be displayed proudly hedges. Bit of extra prestige, probably won't hurt. Oh, did our general die? Oh. <laughs> yes, it did. Alright then, let's uh, get a new general then. Open terrain commander, woodland combat, defensive strategies reserved. Tactful diplomat, mountain combat, and open trip. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, we're we'll gonna go for you. And then let's go ahead and mobilize and put it on the offensive. Although, admittedly, even with this point, we would be eventually winning the war. But, you know, at least now we've conquered all of that, so that should be going through a lot faster. Alright, so we've got max relations with Russia, at least for the time being. Because they're not necessarily gonna be doing all that much for me. It's better than nothing. So, Kasimir State, how many units did you have? 
You've got five battalions that you would have. Actually, why is the quality of those? Is it irregulars without artillery? Okay. Ooh, that reminds me. Is there a... Yeah, there's some small arms available. Well, right now there's a bit of a shortage, perhaps, but... We can start switching all our infantry into line infantry. Same goes with the contrips, although they're not going to be used that much. So that's going to be a bit of an extra cost. Of course, once the war is over, first of all, we'll be getting... Oh, wow, that's a lot of infantry in here that we'll be getting. We might reduce the tooling workshop, at least, a little bit. Because the tool price is going to be probably reduced a lot. Another lead mine is not too bad. But we... Oh, there we go. So let's have a look. We've got a bit of extra stuff in here. So we've got one lead mine still. A textile mill, that's actually a pretty decent thing to have. Is there anything that we could improve? I mean, we don't have dye, so we don't really want to do that one. I don't think we have silk either. So that's a kind of another no-no there. But we're going to reduce the tooling workshop at least a little bit in size. Actually, do we need a third tooling workshop? We've got one being built in our capital, so I'm just going to take that one completely away. So we've got a little bit extra pops at least to work some other areas. And now we're actually making some money again. Not massive amounts, but we did also increase the um, military maintenance or military wages a little bit. So there's that. We could also increase the common wages to go at least a little bit higher because that's going to start increasing the standard of living as well, which will be very important. Oh, ruler has died. Okay, who's our new ruler? Right, okay. I'm not going to try pronouncing that. Our literary rate has gone up to 13.7. I remember at one point at least earlier... It was 11 point something. So it has been going up. It's not really all that great yet, but it's better than nothing. So how much? Uh, we're still paying about 2.7 thousand pounds per week on the interest rates. But our GDP is now 1 million. So that's good. And over here, I'm hoping that the textile mill will start hiring a bit more. The lead mine is still... Okay, the tool price is actually a bit high. Oh, is this one low infrastructure? Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to put in the cargo port there. To fix the infrastructure issues that we have. Is there any other areas that have low infrastructure? Oh. Right, these are inactive because, you know, war against the Ottomans. Or Egypt is at war with the Ottomans. So I suppose if I want to do some more trading, let's have a look. So the wood is definitely one of the things that I should probably still be importing. Uh, Austria market is an option. That would at least allow us to import a decent bit. Let's do that one. And then if we have a look at some other things that we need to import... Luxury clothing could be maybe something that we could import. And let's import that from Spain. That should also increase the tax income a little bit, although it will take a l Oh, there we go. So now we're not building anything. We've got the tooling workshop just completed there. Over here we've got a bit of extra pops, but we can't build any more farmlands right now. We haven't gotten the intensive farming yet, no, or intensive agriculture. That's still going to be about two years away. Right, so there's a tiny bit of extra workers in here, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I suppose we could use the lathes in here to produce extra furniture. That means a bit more tool usage, but that's alright. We don't have necessarily all that much hardwood available, so I'm not going to go produce the luxury furniture yet. There's a bit of extra pops in here. We could probably go for a fishery in need. Might not be all that profitable, perhaps, but we'll build it regardless. So artillery input shortage is still very much a thing. How bad is the iron shortage? It's a little bit, it's not necessarily too bad. So I suppose another thing that we could build is build another arms industry. So, so that we can be sort of uh, self-sufficient with all of that. But there we go, the tooling workshop is presumably getting a bit more production going. Although the wood price is going to be pretty high. I mean, if we had the money... Or rather, if there would be enough iron, I don't think there would be right now. But I suppose, you know what, I'm going to switch one of these to produce uh, with iron. It might not be the best, and it probably won't be making a lot of profit right now. But it should still be, technically speaking, producing more overall. Because it starts with, yeah, it's 30, so it's doubling that, even if it's not producing full speed there. There we go, yeah, there's a, a little bit more tools, but not really making a lot of money right now. But I suppose we are going to be the only portion of the Egyptian market right now that is not going to be conquered. So that's going to help us a little bit. I suppose also, Kathira, you got a little bit of things in there. You've got a lot of farmlands, actually. Do you have any sort of... Uh, you don't have any barracks. Okay, so there should be a 
fairly easy war. Oh, we've got cultural relations. Okay, we're going to start harming the relations with you. Of course, Kazimit State would be one of the options. If we were to do a conquer, a conquer state over there, they would have up to 11 battalions total, though. Because 5 plus 6. They got a pretty good population there, I suppose. But we have already incorporated this state, have we not? Yes, we start that as incorporated state, so that's good. There's a one bit. Oh, wow, that is a lot of pops there. So what do they have as the army? They've oh, right, we did switch our troops to be using the line infantry now. So let's have a look at the. How long is that going to last? 13 more weeks. Okay, we'll wait for that one. And then we're going to do a war against Kazimit State. I think that point are. Well, offensive value right now isn't all that great. But it should be at least 20 by the time we get there. And at that point, I suppose it should be a lot larger than what they have as their defense. 15 defense, so yeah. We'll have the manpower advantage. And then we can start making some... I mean, we will be inheriting five barracks over here, aren't we? So that will get us to total 19. And then we're going to do a bit of fighting over here. I mean, Kathiri, we've still got good relations. Mara, are we... I'm going to start harming relations with you as well, just to be on the safe side. I suppose I should maybe... Uh, we already are a cordial relations with Ottomans, so maybe I can't do too much with that one. Persia we've been improving relations with. Um, is there anyone else? I mean, Shiva... Oh, Shiva actually lost some land. Interesting. So Ethiopia is still a mess, as per usual. So we're losing a bit of cash, but we've got... But the amount of max credit has been increasing steadily, so that is at least giving us a bit of help there. Now we got a bit of a low construction efficiency over here in need. I suppose it's, um, yeah, Arabian deserts. So state construction efficiency minus 25%, as well as minus 25% infrastructure and agriculture throughput. So does Oromia have, they could have a bit of logging camps there, okay. How much of an army do they, oh, they do have 24, but... Oh, barracks right here. Do they have any... No, it's just the regular. Okay. Or irregulars without artillery. There we go. Now we are making a bit of money again. I'm going to go for the intensive agriculture now. Just so that we can increase the food production at least to some degree. And there we go. We got the fishing wharf done. And now we are working on the arms industry. Which, to be fair, I should probably put in the cannons. I mean, mm, it would reduce at least the artillery price. So that is actually not a terrible idea. Uh, right, so I presume our troops are now... Yeah, they are good to go. The custom is state. If I was to do a conquer state war goal against you. And then activate the army. Advance through there. So they've got a bit of troops. They should... Well, I suppose they won't be... That upset about it, I suppose. So we're slowly mobilizing. But we'll, we'll have a lot more troops than they will. Although, I suppose if they are activating the reserves, then they will have a bit more than that. But they have... I don't think they've done that yet. There we go. So we've got nine already mobilized. And this should be relatively easy war. We should have up to 14 battalions total. So that will allow us to overwhelm them. We've got a better quality of troops. We've got the line infantry and artillery, so that will already be a pretty massive impact over there. And now everyone else is uh, declaring neutrality on this. So it's just you and me, Kazimit State. You and me. Two arms. So you've got a defensive of 15. We've got offense of 26, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. That is a lot of wounded or dead on the enemy side there. Now, admittedly, I don't actually want to kill too many of these uh, soldiers here because I need them myself later on. But at least we can get through the front line here. Oh. That's another combat in there, so that yeah, we got a lot more troops, we got a lot more manpower, and yeah, this is going to be an easy victory, but that is also going to be unlocking, or giving us a lot of uh, farmlands in here, plus a lot of population, and then we're going to start combining, or once we conquer all of this state, oh, industrial boom. Service industries and manufacturing industries, or standard of living for the lowest charter. I'm going to increase the standard of living, actually, for two years. It's not really all that great. But it will start improving the amount of loyalists that we get quite nicely. There we go. Oh. Alright, we'll be conquering that. And there we go. Now we're on the same front. They've just got a bit of a mountain over there. I guess that they've uh, been driven into. 
And this should be a pretty easy victory. There we go. They declared me as a rival. I wonder why. I mean, I did declare them as a rival before. But there we go. That is going to be a victory. So, Kathiri, are we... We're still Corridor. We're trying to reduce the relations with you. But it will take some time. But there we go. Is there any laws that I could pass? Um, not really. Still can't do the professional army. I suppose the... Yeah, the armed forces aren't all that great in terms of popularity yet. Uh, bureaucracy on the other hand is looking a little bit dire, so we might want to build another administration center after the things there. I suppose we got a lot of extra pops in... Oh, wow. That is a lot of extra taxes that we just gained. Right, I'm just going to increase the waiters here a little bit. And then we could maybe even reduce the taxes a little bit. We're still going to be making money, and I'm going to be wanting to pay off the uh, debt that we have. But right now, getting more loyalists will be more beneficial for us in the long run. So now we've got at least a bit of um, capacity over here. So we've got the factories that we had already. Oh, right. We can't do the... Or use glass for the market or urban centers yet. Because we haven't unlocked that yet. So iron, wood and artillery are very expensive. We're trying to fix that. Right, so that is about two months away for the intensive agriculture. That's good. So we've got 10 wheat farms. Oh, fuel prices on the rise again there. How is the... Right, so this is producing as much as it can, pretty much. But it's bloody expensive. So it's not really making that much profit. But I think we are about to be on the point where we could... Uh, build up the construction sector again. And let's get the private sector to start doing some construction work for us as well. We could go for the armed reserves, contribution battalions plus 20%, or in the society we could do the mass communication, which actually is a bit more authority, so I will go for that one. And then let's go ahead and switch the building. So wheat farms, so you can use the soil enriching farming, and over here we're going to be using the intensive grazing. So we should be getting a pretty good amount of extra food being produced, and that is also going to be giving us a lot of money, plus it should start improving the standard of living a little bit with the decrease in the food cost to some degree. It's not really going to be that massive decrease in there, but it's better than nothing. So there's a slight shortage still in the market, but that seems to be fixing itself slowly. We've got a little bit of, um, oh, right, so did it. Trade route importing silk. Oh, hold. What's going on here? Oh, Russia is wanting to conquer Palestine. And it looks like Russia is actually winning these combats. I mean, I suppose they've got probably a lot better quality of the troops. So Egypt seems to be collapsing. On the other hand, that might be good news for us. But it's not guaranteed, of course, to be good stuff for us. But anyway, the Russians are clearing out the areas here. They are fighting. Oh, they are. Got, they've got a bit of a plunder there. And the Egyptians are now dug in. So that is giving them a bit of advantage in here. Although they are still going to lose the combat due to the quality difference between the troops, but it's not too bad, necessarily. Oh, Yemen has got a bit of a problem with the market access. Do we have... We do already have a port there. We could probably get a second level for the port. And then Kathiri, we still are cordial, so I don't think we can declare war on you, can we? Nope, not yet. Oh, they're improving... Okay. Right, uh, can I... Oh, I can't declare rivalry. I can expel diplomats, I suppose. It's a bit of uh, infamy, admittedly, but something you've got up to take that. There we go. We're down to 187. Oh, make that 183,000 pounds in debt. So that is going down quickly. As soon as we can, we can... Oh, now we can actually declare the war on Cathary, can't we? So if we were to do that, there is probably not a lot of enemies fighting us. We shall activate the army. Go on the offensive. So they might give up immediately without a fight, because that would actually be good for us. Now, we are slowly gaining a bit of uh, infamy here, but I think we can manage. And then once we take in Mara, we can then start heading into Maritine and then start clearing out Ethiopia and all that. We'd actually use that as a way to start fighting. Oh, right, so Russia got Palestine. <laughs> oh boy, what did we lose there? Fishing, livestock, okay, not really that much then, in terms of the market anyway. So they've yet to invite anyone into the war. 
Uh, iron input shortage. Yes, I'm aware. Well, I could sway someone. Well, I could have swayed someone, but I suppose I can't anymore. But this is going to be one on one, and it's going to be a very quick war. It is going to be a war, though, because we don't really have the strength of the armies quite yet to just sort of stomp over or just force them to surrender without a fight. But we're not that far off. Now, oh, there we go. The interest is going down even further. Of course, we're paying quite a bit into Egypt now in terms of diplomatic pacts or the tributary. So that's over £2,000 per week. I don't know how much of an impact that is for their income, to be fair. I mean, they got quite a bit higher GDP overall. They also got a lot larger population, but we've got enough to 2 million now, which is not a bad increase, quite frankly. So the arms industry is going to be done right about now. Is there... Right, we... Let's actually have a look at the trade routes. Some of them we don't need. That revenue is a bit low, so I'm going to cancel that one. So we don't have quite as much of a bureaucracy shortfall there. In the meanwhile, how quickly are you going to be surrendering? Uh, not quite there yet, but it should be going down with a pretty good speed. So a couple more weeks and we'll have that. Then after that, I think once we build the port in Yemen, I think we are going to build the construction sector back again in uh, our capital. After Zamara, you've got a lot of tooling workshops there. You've got a lead mine and fishing wharf. You don't really have a lot of population there to work all of that, to be fair. I think we can, yeah, we can propose the deal. There we go. So we got another tooling workshop. I mean, fair enough, I suppose. We've got another textile mill as well, which is not necessarily too bad either. Uh, we don't have the dye workshops yet, but I suppose in Ethiopia, we should be able to get some dye plantations in there. And that's where we can start making some luxury clothing, which would be quite nice. Right, so uh, we've got nine points of infamy. So Mara, if I was to declare war on you, relations are a bit poor, but that's fine. You've got no troops. So I'm going to declare war on you. I'm going to activate the army once again. No rest for the wicked. Then we are going to punch through... Or oh, not really punch through. March over the border and capture the, all of that. Then we'll have a way to get into Ethiopia through the islands. Oh, there we go. More authority. That means that we could actually have another taxation. Or, ooh, actually. We could put in the decree back in Yemen. Uh, right, so what are we getting over here? There's still a lot of things. That, you know what, actually, we want to go for the urban planning. I'm going to start getting that one. Even if it's not going to start spreading to us, I want to be able to use the class a little bit more. So I'm guessing... Well, it's still uncertain. All right. There we go. Well, now we're making some money, so we can actually reduce the taxes a bit further. And the wages are already fine as it is. We could technically speaking increase those a little bit, but I'm probably not going to do that. Right, so we wanted to get the decree in Yemen. So let's do that. So agriculture... They've not been able to invite anyone. I suppose I can do a war against Oman, but how much does Oman have troops? They've got up to 20 battalions, so that is a decent bit. And I guess we've got a little bit of barracks in here. We could maybe build another two to get it to a total of five in Yemen. War has broken out, so we will be conquering all of this. Well, technically speaking, we probably didn't conquer quite everything. Yeah, no, they still control the island there. But of course, that will be our path to then get into Ethiopia or Marfatin, and we can get some industries from there, maybe. But especially the iron mine is something that I really want to get to. So, we've got probably pretty good relations. Yeah, we've still got cordial relations with uh, Ottomans. We might want to improve relations with them just to be on the safe side. So, if we need their help, we can at least get it. Actually, I'm going to put in the construction sector to the top of the list. It means that we'll be constructing a little bit slower, but then it also means that the private sector is going to start doing some work for us as well. And we should be about, I don't know, two or three weeks away from peace deal. Actually, just one more week. There we go. Proposed deal. And there we go. We control the entire state. So we may have gotten a little bit extra tooling workshops here, so I'm going to reduce that by... I'm going to go just one level, actually, in there. We may have lost a little bit of uh, laborers there, then. Oh, not lost, but they may have become unemployed for a while. So we've got a lead mine in there that has been under construction. All right, then. We've got a lot of... Uh, oh, coffee plantations. That's not really too bad. Tobacco plantations. Got some wheat farms, which are now all with the fruit production, which does give us a decent bit of uh, sugar, actually. It does probably mean that the food industry over here, if we wanted to... No, it still wouldn't be making a profit. 
Oh, I mean, you wouldn't be making extra profit, rather switching to the alcohol production. Oh, but do I now have a interested place? No, not really. So I'm pretty sure that I can't declare... Actually, can I declare warn you? Nope, I cannot. I'm guessing that is because uh, we don't have a claim or interest. Oh, yeah, we don't have an interest in Ethiopia, so... Fair enough, I suppose. We'll need to get one. Um, but we haven't yet gotten that far into the ranks, I suppose, to get our own interest. Nor do we have a large enough uh, GDP. Although it is now 4 million compared to Egypt's, uh, what was it, 8? About 9 million, okay. So we're still quite a bit behind overall. We're also getting a bit of uh, bureaucracy now. So Oman is another nation that I wouldn't mind uh, doing a bit of fighting against. How is their troop quality, actually? They do have irregulars with cannon artillery. So it's not necessarily entirely worthless. So there's another thing that I could... Well, I suppose we've got a lot of things under construction right now. We've got the construction sector, at least. So now we're getting some livestock ranches in need. All right. And we've got the lead mine over there partially built. We've got the port in Yemen underway, which, to be fair... Oh, boy, we're going to need a lot more infrastructure in here. All right, then. Um... Is there something we don't really need right now? No, I suppose I do think we need most of it. We've got the extra ports in here, at least, so that should give us a bit of extra infrastructure, but not enough. But it is at least incorporated today, so it doesn't lose any of the infrastructure due to that. Well, yeah, I do wonder if we could get into Ethiopia. I mean, right now, since we can't declare an interest there. I do wonder, though, when can we get another interest? Okay, it depends on our rank. So once we get a bit higher on the rank, we might be able to... Oh, unfairly denied entry. You know what? Uh, we're going to say everyone must be allowed, so we lose a little bit of authority again, but I think we're going to manage it with that. And there we go. We got the bureaucracy in here being built. Is that... Oh, are we over our... Oh, we need more infrastructure in here. Now, to be fair, that is something that we can quite easily fix. We'll just put that in there. And that way we get the infrastructure fixed. Low market access in Yemen is still a problem. Artillery is still expensive, but we did get the arms industry now. Rather recently, I suppose. But it is producing at least some artillery. Not really enough, mind you, but it is some... And we're making pretty good money as well. We could maybe start reducing some of these uh, extra consumption taxes. Which aren't really making all that much money. So there we go, that at least uh, reduces the, or removes the deficit on the authority. The urban planning is 18 months away, so we've still got quite a bit of work to do there. But, if we have a look at the nation forming, so we've got 4 out of 16, so 25% there. Still got quite a bit of way to go though. If we do have a look, so Bedouin, Yemenite, um, Mashrikis, all three of those are accepted cultures. Everything else is not. I mean, to be fair, we've still got the national supremacy and all that. Um, and there's not really a lot of laws that we could change. Let's have a look at a reform government. We could get the military back into the government, I suppose. And then we could try changing the professional army again. Although I don't think it's going to succeed yet. We really need to start bolstering the armed forces or something. Because we kind of need to make our military even better quality than in what it is right now. So Transjordan would be one of the places where we could get some... Wood. It's not a lot of wood that we'd be able to get there. We would be able to get some. But of course that, well... Egypt is a bit too strong for us still. They've got 116 battalions. I'm pretty sure that they're still protective and we've got fairly good relations with them. So perhaps we should not be rocking the boat quite yet. But I do realise that we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have it already, also the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.